Welcome to this tutorial on Phantom Power. Phantom Power is a method of powering audio devices where a connection to the mains power supply would be cumbersome. It plays an essential role in live performance and the recording studio. The complex active electronics in capacitor microphones, back electric microphones and active DI boxes require power. In the controlled environment of the studio, we use these devices because of their superior frequency response and low distortion characteristics. However, if every microphone in a multi-mic setup required its own power supply from the mains, this would be highly inconvenient. Phantom power is the solution. Devices which can supply phantom power include mic preamps, standalone or located in a mixer, audio interface or recorder, etc. Video camcorders and dedicated standalone phantom power devices, either mains or battery pack powered. The most common phantom power requirement is 48 volts. Where phantom power is unavailable, some devices can operate from a 9 volt or less battery which may be installed in a compartment in the device itself. Similar voltages are produced by many standalone portable phantom power devices. However, voltages below 48 volts often produce a lower output and therefore increased distortion and a poorer signal to noise ratio. The standard way to get phantom power to a source device is to send it down the same lead being used to carry the signal from the source device. So, for example, a mic preamp would send phantom power to a capacitor microphone and receive its audio output in return. The signals travel in opposite directions and out of phase with each other and therefore do not interact. The positive phantom power signal travels on the live and return cores whilst the negative travels on the earth. Enabling phantom power can produce a brief peak signal, a bang. Also, connecting a device with phantom power already turned on can risk sending it down the wrong core. To avoid damage to your speakers or your devices such as microphones, follow this procedure. 1. Ensure the gain and audio output level if there is one, of the mic preamp is turned down. 2. Turn on the mic preamp. 3. Ensure phantom power is disabled. 4. Connect your microphone or DI box using a balanced XLR mic cable. 5. Enable the phantom power, turn it on, at the mic preamp. 6. Ask the performer to start or play the source signal. 7. Slowly raise the input gain until you have an average level around 0 dB or a level at which the clip LED does not light. And finally 8. Slowly raise the output level until you reach the required level. Ribbon microphones not only do not need phantom power but can be seriously damaged by it so extreme care should be taken when connecting them to a microphone preamplifier. Dynamic microphones and passive DI boxes don't require phantom power either, but neither will be damaged if you accidentally send phantom power to them. The script for this tutorial, with accompanying screenshots, can be found at projectstudiohandbook.com. And finally, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or at the website to get instant notification of new videos as they are uploaded. And please do click on the ads of interest to you. We're a free resource and they help to pay our costs. Thanks very much for watching.